Guys, you're not gonna believe what happened to me. Two days out before Christmas, I stubbed my big toe on the side of my bed. Now, I didn't think anything of it at the time. It hurt for hell, like hell for 30 seconds. You know, when you stub your toe, it really hurts for that initial 30 seconds or a minute. After that, I thought nothing of it. The same night, woke up in extreme pain. My whole foot or my whole um, big toe had swelled up. Now, if you're looking at my foot now, this, this is a month later, exact, exactly a month to the day that I, that I stubbed my toe. Um, you can still see that there's the swelling on my left foot there. And people have been telling me it's, it's probably gout. Now, can gout start up because you stubbed your toe? Well, I looked online, it's possible. So, I'm going to give you a few remedies and tips and what I've been doing for the last month. Believe it or not, my foot still hurts at night. Even after... A month it still hurts at night what I've been taking for that I be I be pure and you know what it, you know what it means you know you know what it is paracetamol and things like that doesn't work this seems to be the only thing that works for me uh, basically gets you a night's sleep another thing that I've got here is this um, pain away spray you can just spray it on rub it in that can help a little bit, and it relieves a little bit of pain. Rub it on before you go to bed at night, that'd be perfect. What I've actually been doing as well is, this is an ice pack that you like put in a, a cooler or esky or cooler, we call it esky in Australia. But it's, it's just an ice brick. What you can do, is you can just stand on it. Also available, is at, at a chemist here in Australia, is this ice pack, and you can also put it in the microwave. And what does it say there? Microwaveable. What you do there is you just wrap it around like that. This is $8 in Australia. It's much easier than using the peas or whatever. So there you go. This is what I've been doing for the last month and it's still... I still can't walk on it properly. I still... I'm still hobbling around. I can't put too much pressure on it. <sighs> so, uh, let's come back to the ice pack here and just stand on it for a second. And I'll let you know that I can wiggle all of my toes. This is a month later, I can wiggle my toes now. The first two weeks, my foot was just frozen solid. I couldn't move my big toe. And I, I'm pretty sure I couldn't move the second and the third toe for a whole month, a uh, whole two weeks. For a whole two weeks, my foot was just so stiff and I couldn't even bend it like this, backwards and forwards. But now, after a month, I'm showing signs of recovery. Every now and then, I'll still put the ice pack on, bring the swelling down. Rob Roscup, don't worry, I'm coming back soon. I've just been in absolute agony for nearly a month. The first two weeks, excruciating pain. I, th I, I thought it was never going to end. It's only just coming good now after one month. So this is what you can expect if you stub your toe really badly. Or is it gout? I'm not sure. It's it's concentrated on this joint here, but my toe here is all is all um, sore as well, and my second toe is really sore. Is it gout? Did I stub my toe and bring on an onset of gout? I've never had it before. Let me know in the comments. Catch you next time. I'm gonna put this ice pack back on for a while.